to do some amazing things in this piece. We're going to uh, number the people. Uh, remember the Lord showed us many, many tecoperas. That means number, number, way, divide. Now, we're going to do some numbering, guys. I'm going to tell you some startling things. It's going to require you to have a great deal of focus to understand the things I'm going to do in this presentation. Um, but, guys, what we're doing is we're numbering the people. Now, you can number the people by a space. In fact, guys, this space and this tent in here, you see this line and see this here? It's exactly double the size of the Ark of the Covenant. If you go from this wall to that wall, three cubits. From the floor to this line right here, three cubits. From this wall to that wall, five cubits. That's exactly double the size of the Ark of the Covenant. I actually marked it right here. Let me show you. I put it on the wall, and you can see this line going across. I put that blue tape over to the corner. That's two and a half cubits. From here to this mark right there, one and a half cubits. Then lengthwise, again, two and a half cubits, and then one and a half cubits right there. In fact, it worked out perfect to where this line right here down to the floor is also one and a half cubits. So this space God gave me um, is actually in perfect measurement to his order, which I find fascinating. Let me try and get all this here so I can fit everything. Um... Like that. All right, now, um, what we're going to do in this piece, guys, is we're going to talk about another way you can um, number the people is by money. All right? Now, i got two quarters here. And picture these quarters as half a shekel. All right? Now, what happened is Moses, um, at the time of Moses in Exodus 38, the people gave a ransom for their souls. They gave a half a shekel for each man. Okay? Uh, so... If, if I gave Moses my half a shekel, he took that, he received all that gold, and then he went about building um, building the, the tabernacle of Moses, okay? Um, at the time of Solomon, he also um, had talents to go about building the temple. But guys, two half shekels is one shekel, right? So if that's one shekel, now that's two people, okay? Now, this is important. We're going to explain later. Um, other thing we're going to do is we're also going to use our menorah like a scale because we can weigh the oils. Remember, number, weigh, divide. So we're going to weigh the oils um, later on. But the other thing about this menorah, guys, is you see it's got a heart. You see it got eyes. That's exactly what God told Solomon. The temple is going to be a place of my heart and my eyes will rest there perpetually. All the stuff that God gave me in these presentations, guys, is all symbolic. And I hope that you see the world around you, all the things that God and the angels are doing to get your attention as well. That's why I point out these things. Um, but guys, we're going to get into the presentation. What I need you to do is I need you to do a couple things for me. First off, I need you to go back over and watch the 12 Apostles video. Um, before I get into that section, it, whether you do it now or later, um, you know, pause the video and then go and do it again um, and watch that whole video because uh, I can't say the same things over and over. I establish truth and principle and I use it as reference, all right? Um, so uh, do that now. Um, the other thing I'd like you to do before I continue in this presentation, I would like you to read Matthew 24, the end of it. Um, from verse 42 in Matthew 25. Guys, the disciples asked the Lord, when do we know the end times? And he went on his discourse. He started in the beginning of Matthew 25, and he didn't finish until, I mean, Matthew 24, and he didn't finish until Matthew 25. 26, it says, after the Lord finished these sayings. So all of that is the apocalypse of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it gives us uh, significant things in it about how he's going to judge us because he says that he is sitting on the throne and he's going to uh, judge us okay so, uh, so what i want you to do is pause the video get your bible out read matthew 24 verse 42 okay it's the good men of the house parable and then read all the parables um 
the virgins, um, the talents, and the sheep and the goats. Okay, there's four. There's four parables there. I want you to read all those parables. I don't have time to read them all. I got to do this thing. So pause the video, open your Bible, and read it. You didn't listen to me, did you? I said, pause the video, open your Bible, read the parables, okay? Do it. All right. Hopefully, you have done that and you have read those parables. I'm going to reference those, and, um, and I'm also going to reference Matthew 18 and the parable there as well of forgiveness. All right. Let's get into this piece, guys. Okay. What we must do is, I explained to you how um, the people gave a half a shekel, ransom for their soul, and that um, added up to all the gold that Moses used to build the um, tabernacle. Now, this is all right here. So, how it works is this. He had 603,550 men. These are men ages 20 and above. And what we do, guys, is we divide that figure in half. Because remember, it's a half a shekel. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to try and determine how many shekels are in a talent. You just read the parable of talents. You can see that there were talents. Well, those talents are a census. And we're going to go and do a census. I'm going to tell you, everybody, all the people in the book of Revelation, um, we're gonna, we can number them. We can do a census on all of them. All right? But this is what we have to do. We have to determine the shekel of the sanctuary. It says that in Exodus 38. Okay? Now, what we have to do is figure out how many shekels are in a talent. Okay, let's do it. So we have 301,775. That's half of the, the men that were ages 20 and up, above, right? Um, then what happens, it gives us a fraction of shekels. Okay? And that's 730. Now, it gives us 29 talents, so we know the number of talents. So, it's 29 talents in fraction shekel 730. So, we subtract that from this figure, and then we come up with 301,045 shekels. And we divide that. Now, we have no fraction shekels. These are just the straight shekels, and we divide that by 29. We now know that the number of shekels in one talent is 10,380. From this figure, guys, we can now figure out all the people in the apocalypse. So, let's do it. Alright? Now, I will put all these numbers in the description field of the video um, because I don't have like a big chalkboard to keep all this, so I have to erase it. So, let's remember that we're numbering people. Now, 10,380 is the number of shekels. Now, before we divided that because we knew the people. Now we know the shekels, so we multiply the shekels by 2 and take that, whatever the number of talents, and then we can determine the people. We're going to reverse this whole process of what Moses did, okay? But for space, I have to erase this, and, um, and now let's go and let's do it. Okay, so you just read the parable of the talents, right? Okay, in the parable of the talents, you could see that there were three men, um, and the three men had... Um, receive talents. One received five, right? One received two. One received one. Okay, now that we know the shekel of the sanctuary, we know the number of shekels in a talent. It's 10,380. Okay? And uh, even one of the subscribers asked me, Leland, I keep seeing the number 1038. 1038. What does that mean? I didn't know. I did this. Now I know, it's not 1038, it's 10,380. It's the number of shekels in a talent. Now in order for us to go and determine the people per a talent, we multiply this figure by 2. Okay, so let's do it. In the story, you have uh, the guy that got 5 talents, right? So, he got 5 talents. If we take 10,380 times 2 times five, you got five talents, that is, uh, let me just make sure I got all this here right, oh here it is, yeah, okay, 103,800, okay, now that's the number of P, 
people. Now do now we got the people, man, right here. 10,380 times 2. Okay? So he got five talents. These are five talents, and that's the number of people. But we also had another guy. He had two talents, right? So he had two talents, and that is 41,520. Okay? All right, great. Boy, we got these people. Here we got it, right here, man. Now, there was another guy, he got one talent, right? He got one talent. But he did not multiply his talent. He took his talent and he buried it in the ground and the Lord was angry with him. So herein lies the mystery. The talent that he had is hidden from us. We can't measure it. We don't know. We don't know how many people are associated with that talent because he didn't multiply it. Okay? So we're going to talk about it later and... Uh, there is only one people that we can't measure. All right, so there was five, two, and one. So the one that had the one talent, we can't uh, determine. All right, now, let's remember what they did. The guy that got five talents, he multiplied, he got five more talents, right? Okay, so we take the, this figure now, and we multiply it by two. Great, he got 207,000 shekels and... 600 shekels. Okay. Now these are people. We've got to keep going, man. It's rolling. And then we got the guy two. He got two shekels and he multiplied, got two more. So now he got four shekels, four shekels. Um, and if we um, basically just double this figure, easy enough, uh, we come up with 83,000. All right, now, what we have here, guys, is we're number, we got seven talents. We started out right here, seven talents, right? Now we got 14 talents, okay? And we know the importance and significance of the number 14, okay? Number 14 is the number of years in the apocalypse. We found the number 14 in the Holy of Holies measurement, all right? So now we have a people represented by 14 talents. Let's add it up. So if we uh, then add these two figures up together, we get 290... 640. All right. Yes, these are both shekels, but now that we've done the process of multiplying the shekels by two, these are people, right? Remember, the guy that had one shekel, guys, he didn't multiply the talent. Remember Moses, he divided the talent? We divided the talent by two? He didn't do that because that now he can't factor into this equation. So we can only go by these two guys because they multiplied the talent. All right, now we have this figure. We have 290,640 people. All right. What does this mean? Well, what we have to do, guys is we have to break it down. Now, hopefully you have paused this video at some point and watched the 12 apostles because um, within it, there's things that we establish as principles that we can view right here. Okay, from this figure, we can get, we can get the sum of these numbers. 288,000. All right. We can also get the figure 2,000. 400, and from this we can also get the figure 240. All right, guys, what we're looking at right here, these are the people in the parables you just read. You just read about them, okay? Now, we know in the book of Revelation there's a numbered people. They're the 144,000, right? Well, in the house of David, they are also 288,000. What happens, guys? In the beginning of Esther's year preparation, we number the people. That's what we're doing right here. All these people will be numbered by the Esther's preparation in a couple months, all right? Then there's a full year, and what happens? You start with 288,000, you end up with 144,000, just like 
the virgins. You read the virgins? There was ten virgins. There was five wise. There was five foolish. Well, they start out with ten. But you don't know until the end that there's only five. So it's broken down in half. We can do the same thing with these figures. So here we have 144,000. Okay, here we have 1,200. Here we have 120. All right, now we already know about the 144,000. We have gone over that in great length. If, you have, if you're not familiar with this channel, you've got to go over all these playlists. I can't repeat the same thing over and over. If you don't know this, then, you know, whatever, man. All right, look, these are the other parables you just read. Remember the parable of the householder, the good men of the house? Well, that's this. That's this right here. We start out with 240, we end up with 120. That's how many, okay? Remember the parable of the talents? The, the, uh, the uh, servants that are made rulers? Well, that's these right here. You have uh, 2,400 that you start out with, and this is just like the virgins. They're broken down too. They start out, they're going to be numbered, and their numbers are going to be reduced in half as well. Then you end up with 1,200. Now, guys, the 120 are seats, just like in the upper room. I talk, and again, I broke that down in that other video. I can't repeat the same things over and over. That, these are seats. All right, these, have been, these seats have been around since Nehemiah. They were in Nehemiah's day. They were the, um, the, the apostles in the upper room. And in the last days, these are the, um, the householder, those that rule with the Lord in his household, okay? Their number, these are all the elect. Now, the other thing you may not realize is that this whole census right here is the elect. It's all broken down right here. Now, some of these may not, you may not have any clue of anything I'm saying, okay? It may all be new. That's why I'm trying to give you all these references, okay, to educate you. Now, if we, now before, remember, we doubled, now we went back in half. So we can actually add this figure right here, and, and it actually is the sum of these. And you can see it's 145, 320. All right? Now, guys, if you look up Psalm 145, and you look at verses 13 through 20, you'll see at verse 13, it talks about the Lord in his dominion. Verse 15, it talks about giving meat in due season. That's exactly what you see right here with the 120. The householder, he is to give meat in due season. Guys, God is going to judge all these people. They're all categories. I'm giving you the numbers. These are hidden things that people don't know. All this is happening in the courts of heaven to determine these people. And then through the course of time, when the Lord comes in the clouds, this is the figure he's going to get. This is the figure that's going to be prepared. These are going to be the wise virgins. These are going to be the good stewards. And these are going to be the householders that watched. Okay? So here we have all these figures right here, guys. And this is all determined by the shekel of the sanctuary. All right? Now, in that parable of the talents, let me show you something, man. In the parable of talents, guys, it said, The Lord reckoned his servants. See that license plate? I didn't request that. That's random. Look at that. 4868G. If you look that up in the Strong's, G stands for Greek. That means a this is the actual Greek word reckoned. The Lord reckoned his servants. The only other place this word exists, it's in the talents. It's also in Matthew 18, where it talks about the Lord reckoning with the guy that had owed 10,000 talents. You owe 10,000 talents. Oh my goodness, that's so much. We're going to get into that figure in a minute. Now guys, before I erase this, there's another thing I want to mention. Uh, we're going to get into the next category of people. The other thing I want to mention is this, and this is Psalm 68. In Psalm 68, it talks about these, these people. Now you can see the 144,000 are broken down into tribes of 12. You can see that these also are broken down into... 12. If you divide 12 by 120, you get 10. If you divide um, 1,200 by 12, you get 100. This is always God's order, guys. If you look at Moses, if you look at David, he ordered by 10s, 50s, and 100s. So here we have 10s, 
and a hundreds uh, represented. Now in Psalm 68, it says, here is little Benjamin and his rulers. Here's the rulers right here. It's a parable of the householder. All right. Then it says, in, in Judah, in the princes of Judah in council. So here's the princes of Judah right here. All right. They're within this group. Um, these are princes. So there's rulers and there's princes. There's also princes and um, other tribes mentioned there in Psalm 68. It also says uh, I, uh, Naphtali and Zebulun and I think Ishakar. Uh, but I'm pointing out, guys, all this is real. You might think I'm just making this up and pulling rabbits out of the hat. I'm not. I'm telling you, all this is real. All this is going to happen. All this is going to go down. All right. These are all the figures. All right. Now I'm going to keep going and show you astounding things. All right. Um, now that we know this. Uh, we can also determine, like I mentioned in uh, Matthew 18, it also gives us another um, example of talents. So guys, when he's giving us talents, he's giving us information that we can use to do a census. And we can actually figure out the people. We can count the people. We can actually figure out exa the exact number of who they are. So, I told you about the guy that went to the Lord and he said... Uh, Lord, forgive me the 10,000 talents. And the Lord forgave him. And then, this is Matthew 18 I'm talking about. And then he went and he beat a fellow servant that owed him much less. And the Lord was angry with him. But think about not so much the servants, guys, as the talents. Now, these are talents that the Lord forgave talents. He forgave these people. Now, we know that through a census, we can actually determine this number of people. Okay, so what do we have? Um, we have 10,000 talents, right? And these are the ones the Lord forgave. So if we take 10,380 times 2 times 10,000, we come up with 207,600,000 people. That's how many people, guys. Guys, what you're looking at right here, this is the great multitude. You just read about them in the parable. Guys, when the Son of Man sits and he judges the sheep from the goats, he judges the nations. The nations aren't what you think. The nations aren't, you know, countries. They're his people from redeemed from every tribe, kindred, and tongue. Okay? They're ethnos. It's called it ethnos. You read the Revelation. It's never nations or Gentiles. It's ethnos. It's a people. And you see, every tribe, kindred, and tongue is represented. That's in Revelation 7. It talks about the great multitude that no man can number. Well, we can number a part of them. We can number a part. We're going to talk about the other uh, talent that we can't number in a minute. But... We can number them. They are 207,600,000. Uh, now, guys, you can see them in Revelation chapter 9. It talks about this army. It's a 200 million person army. This, this is the Joel 2 army right here, guys. These are the people in the last days that are going to rise up and be in camps and be in position and, and be assembled under the Lord of hosts to do mighty works and exploits like never seen on the face of the earth. 200 million, all right? Now, these are also the sheep. So, as you have done unto the least of these, my brethren, that's how he's going to judge us all, okay? So, that's who he's judging there. I'm giving you every single people group and census of the exact numbers of all of them by the talents. You also find this figure of talents in Haman, Esther chapter 3. It says, Haman uh, seeks to make a ransom of 10,000 talents of silver. Now, silver you use to redeem. He's going to try and kill these people, but he's not to. He's going to lose, and we're going to turn around, and we're going to kill him and destroy him and his host. But guys, I'm showing you three witnesses to this figure. 200 million. That's it, right in Revelation 9. 10,000 talents, right in Matthew 18. 10,000 talents, right in Esther chapter 3. This is a people. This is the great multitude that's going to rise up, guys. Praise God. Glory to his name. Now, guys, we also have another people group. Um, and this is in this one we talk about um, the temple, the first temple at the time of Solomon. 
Now, guys, David went about to, to, to do a census similar to Moses did, but God cursed him. He wasn't allowed to. He was not allowed to make an association with the number of people and the talents of gold to build the temple. All right? So God cursed him. Now, he had to put a stop to that. He started, and then, you know, the angel came up with a sword, and, it, you know, he had to decide the curse. Now... What ends up happening is when Solomon goes to build the temple, same thing, he gets gold. Now remember the talents of gold to build the tabernacle, to build the temple. They're people. These are censuses of people that we can measure. And they're all given to us throughout all this prophetic Bible history for the last days. Now if you ever study this, you'll find something very unusual. You'll see that the number of talents that Solomon got in the first temple is this. That's right, 666. Solomon got 666 talents of gold to build the temple. Now, if you ever study, you thought, you said, what the heck? How the heck is 666 in God's temple? You know, that always disturbed me. I'm like, what is that? Well, it's this. It has nothing to do with 666. It's not associated with the temple. The gold in the temple is a census of the people that will be martyred by the beast. Now, we know this. Guys, in the fifth seal, it's the souls that cry out on the altar. They say, Lord, when will you avenge our blood? You can see I wrote this in red. A red marker. And the Lord said... Not until your fellow servants be fulfilled. Guys, it's already happening. It's ISIS. It's, it's uh, people are killing Christians. Martyrdom is taking place. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep adding up. It's going to add up to a figure. 666 times 10,380 times 2 is 13 million 826,000. 160 people. That's how many people are going to be killed, guys. That's how many right there. There you have it. So, guys, this is a dreadful time. Um, but the Lord told us about all these people. There's great honor and standing in your faith, the Lord Jesus Christ, and saying, No, I don't care if you kill me and cut my head off. I will not, I will not confess and deny Jesus Christ. I will not confess another God. I will only did, uh, I would only confess Jesus Christ. Okay? So guys, from all this, we got all the figures. Alright? Remember we had them. We, we, able, we were able to see that we had 144,000. Okay? These are the wise virgins. We got 1,200. Alright? Well done, good and faithful servants. I'll make you rulers. These are rulers. We got 120. All right. Now these are the um, the good men of the house. Okay, 120. We got all these figures. Now to be clear, if you guys are not familiar with the message on this channel, you know people are in great error about the last days. What you have is this is the elect, guys. When the Son of Man comes in the clouds, he's going to gather the elect. This is the elect that's going to be uh, assembled in order for his coming. Okay? This is it. Then what you have is this is the army. Now the army, you can see this is the sixth trumpet. Okay? Then in the seventh trumpet is the last trump. It talks about in 1 Corinthians 15. At the last trump, the twinkling of an eye. Then these people will be taken. Two million. Two hundred and seven million six hundred thousand. Okay, and so they will be there. Now, if you if you don't make any of this, you just continue on. You just keep, you end up in the bowls. But guys, this is it. This is a whole census. This is all the people. Um, I told you the figure it was uh, 290,640. That number reduced in half is going to give us this. That number is going to be, a census is going to be taken in a few months. It's the beginning of Esther's year of preparation. Okay, so guys, this is it. Now, I hope that you have the maturity to deal with this information. You can see these figures are very, very small. But I've proven it all through the scripture. I've given you multiple reference that all this is so. All this is going to go down just like the scripture says. So, guys, to God be the glory for this information. Um, 
uh, we, we, we find this uh, very sobering. And, um, and those of you who want to come on, come on here and tell me, oh, you don't, you know, look, man, don't even try it. I've proven all this stuff. And look, the councils of heaven are bear witness to what I'm saying. All this will go down, and the Lord will start proving it to you and showing you these figures. You'll see who you are. Now, these rulers, um, I'm, I know about the virgins. You guys are on here. You know, I know about you guys. I'm curious to know the story of any of you that don't think you fit the category of a virgin. You're, you know, you think you're something, maybe this, and you're following this channel, and you know the Lord's told you to watch. I'm curious about your stories. You know, send me a message. I'd like to know, okay? I've seen these in heaven. I've seen these folks in heaven. Um, I've seen all different types of folks uh, assembled in councils, uh, but I don't know who they are in the earth. So, guys, God bless you. Um, again, um, you know, we're quite privileged to know this information, uh, but the Lord has allowed me to have the authorization to uh, release the revelation of the book of Revelation, guys. So, to Him be all the glory.